What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying, this is a free general collective, excuse me, free general collective reading, capsule side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take only take the messages that resonate. Okay, so I got a channel to end. So um, hopefully this will be the last one tonight. Just saying, just saying. I know my hair looks like a hot mess, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, so um, I heard, um, oh, it's free general reading. So I take the messages that resonate. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. We're at 10,517 right now. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are just the bomb.com. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Uh, it's a very private, confidential way to donate through my PayPal. I do not publicly display how much you donate or your name publicly, just to let you know for privacy and confidentiality purposes. Okay, so the channel message I received was... Um, Someone's toxic family member is going to attempt to come back into their life soon. Um, I heard for some you have blocked this person, but they're going to attempt to show up um, on your doorstep. Um, I heard for some you're going to call the police, and for some um, they will go to jail because it is court-ordered petition for them to stay away. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. That's pretty strong. Toxic family coming in very strong. So you plug it in however it resonates in your life. Um, just because they're blood doesn't mean they are good for you. And trust me, if anybody knows that, it's me. So uh, you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of toxic family energy. It could be for you or somebody you're connected to. Um, you plug it in however it resonates if it resonates for you. So um, basically, um, for some of you... Okay, so for some of you guys, you have this person blocked. So blocked. So I'm thinking blocked off your phone. Um, or you're not communicating with them. You refuse to communicate with them. You have them blocked in some, for some reason, in some shape, form, or fashion. You could have their email blocked. You could have their number blocked. You could have both blocked. You got them blocked in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, blocked energetically. I mean, it could be one of all those things. You have them blocked for some. Um, for some, I heard that they're going to try to uh, show up at your doorstep. Um, so I'm assuming you have the ones that have them blocked they're going to attempt to just show up at your doorstep. That's never a good idea for anybody. I don't care if you're blood or not. That's just not a good idea. That's not respectful. And that's just the truth. Um, I heard for some, the ones that are going to try to show up at the doorstep, for some, you're going to call the police. Um, and I don't blame you. And for some, they there is a court-ordered petition for them to stay away from you. So they will go to jail. Well, yeah. There's a court order petition for them to stay away from you. They should go to jail because they should be staying away and following the court um, orders. And that's just the truth. So um, kudos to whoever's going to stand up for themselves because whoever you are, it sounds like you're going to stand up for yourself um, on this. It doesn't sound like you're going to be like, oh, yeah, sure, come on in, buddy pal, buddy pal. No. Oh, my gosh, no. Uh-uh. Nay, nay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Um, so kudos to whoever this is for. Of course, you have your own free will. Um, so you could choose to allow this person in. But for whoever this is for, it doesn't sound like you're going to. And I truly do not blame you. I uh, don't blame you. I'm a 38-year-old woman. There is no freaking way, man. No way, no way, no way. No way, no how. Even if I was 28, there'd be no way, no how. And that's just the truth. Um and that's the truth. At 28, I was in nursing school. So, I mean, there's just there's, there's, there's no way. I mean, you could be 28, 18, 38, 48, 58, 68. Um, no way, no how, in my opinion. But everybody has free will. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. But some kind of toxic family energy. For sure, for sure. The void, I shuffled twice, uh, two times it was on the bottom of the deck. Number one could be a very significant number in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. It could be a possible age of a child, um, of your child or somebody you're connected to's child, a date of birth number, social number, 
Green card number, lottery number, number one, the void. Some of these people want to show off to you, but you are not interested because of the past. Okay. Heard some of these people want to show off to you, but you're not interested because of, because of the past. So they want to come back to glow. Um, yeah, no. Nay, nay. Nay, nay. They want to come back to glow. So they're probably doing well financially. For some, they could be the ones that have sold their inheritances. Because um, I've been pulling in a lot of that um, recently in the energetic space. Or um, or something of that nature. I didn't hear any of that. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning, possibly, because they're toxic. I heard they're toxic. So, and we've had a lot of stolen inheritances, a lot of stolen um, uh, properties and money and uh, money laundering and all kinds of shit in here. So, for some, they could be involved in that. You have to plug these individual people in your life, how they resonate, if they do resonate. Um, if it resonates for you. But however it resonates, they want to gloat. They want to gloat. They want to show off something to you. So it could be their new man, their new woman, their new boo, um, their new car, their new job, their new so uh, something, something they want to show off. Um, but I heard you're not interested because of the past. So, and some of you have forward petitions for them to stay away from you. It's that serious. So, yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. So, the void. I think they're going to be mad and depressed. Void energy is like depression energy, anger energy, mad energy. Um, they're going to be in the void when you basically um, either call the police on them um, and or warn them and then call the police on them. Or if, for the ones that are have the court order petitions to stay away from you. You call the police on them and they end up going to jail because of the court order petition. Um, or you just tell them to get the hell away from you, get off your property, and they get mad. Um, they're going to be in the void. They're going to be depressed. They're going to be mad. They're going to be um, hopefully not hateful to you. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But I do feel depression here. I feel sadness. But in all fairness, I heard they want to they want to come back and gloat to you. So they want to come back and show something off to you. Like, oh, look what I have. And oh, look what I have. And oh, look what I have. But um, whoever you are, you just want them to stay the hell away from you. And I don't blame you. I truly don't blame you. Um, because of those kind of people, you have to. You have to um, set boundaries with those kind of people. Because um, they, they're like, those kind of people are like, um, like, they're very materialistic, very materialistic, all about me, 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 me. They're take, take, takers. They're not givers. They're not copacetic people giving and taking. They're just all take, 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 take. So I don't blame you for setting your boundaries. I absolutely don't. Let me see if I hear anything else. Spirit messages you have with you. Faith reverse. Number 31 could be a very significant number in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Number 31. Also, number 8. Those could be um, significant uh, numbers in your life. They could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. Possible date of birth number. Possible lottery number. Possible um, social number. Possible green card number. Possible, um, oh, I said all this. 31 or 8. And also, 888, and I didn't hear this, but I'm just saying, 888 is abundance. So, um, I heard they want to gloat. So, they have come into some kind of money, either illegally or legally. They have come into some kind of money. They want to show something off to you. And this is exactly, I mean, I heard specifically from Spirit, they want to gloat. They have come into some kind of money. Faith reversed. You do not trust this situation, and you should not. Okay. I heard you do not trust this situation, and you should not. So whoever you are, um, you're highly intuitive. And when these people, person or people, whoever they are, I mean, it's different for different people. But whoever it is that's going to decide to, I think, I feel for a lot of you guys are going to try to show up on your damn doorstep. Because uh, you have them blocked. So how are they going to show off to you? They're not going to show off to you through the phone anyways if you don't have them blocked. 
because you'll probably um, you'll probably end the conversation with them, and they can't unless you have FaceTime or um, or Duo or something like that. They can't show you the new card. They can't show you the make mansion with money laundered money. They can't show you all those things. Just saying, just saying. Um, I heard you don't trust the situation, and I heard from spirit you shouldn't. So of course you can take the spiritual messages or not, but um, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. So you have no faith in this situation. I wouldn't either. The path. These people are spreading rumors that you're bitter, but you're absolutely not. You just want to stay the hell away from them. Oh my God. Whoa. I heard these people are spreading rumors that you're bitter, but I heard you're not. You just want to stay the hell away from them. So these people that want to come back and glow, person or people, how that resonates in your life. They're spreading rumors that you're bitter. <laughs> so they're saying you're bitter. Well, if they stole your money, um, then that's on them. Um, I heard you're not bitter. Um, I heard you're not bitter. So you're not bitter about it, but they're telling people you are bitter about it. Well, if they stole the money, they're in the wrong. So I heard you're not bitter, but, um, and kudos for you for not being bitter. But the thing is, is if they had the gall and the audacity and the maliciousness intent, obviously they did, to um, do something to you, then um, I could see where you would be bitter, but it's good not to be bitter. You don't want to be bitter in your heart. Absolutely not. No. It was their choice to make the wrong choice, is what I'm trying to say. It was their choice to make the wrong choice. I heard you're not bitter, so thank God you're not bitter. Um, I think you've just moved on from the situation. I heard you just want to stay the hell away from them. You just want them to leave you the hell alone, basically. And I don't blame you. Um, they shouldn't have, um, I mean, they should have chose their own path to begin with, you know? I mean, it's so bad that some of you guys had to get a court order petition for some, um, at least one of the first people trying to show up and are going to try to show up for you to stay the hell away from you. You had to get a court order. And it's sad when you have to get something court ordered. And that's just truth. When you can't work it out as adults. That's sad. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. Okay, I heard someone's getting a huge wake up call. I mean, it's the truth. It's the truth. When you have to go that great of lengths to get something court ordered. But, you know, I, I mean, it happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. Um, it does. But um, I heard they're, they're so they want to come back. They want to come back. Oh, how are you, buddy, pad, buddy, friend? But they're gossiping about you behind your back, calling you bitter. They're probably calling you bitter Betty or bitter Bart or whatever. But the thing is, is it sounds like they're the low vibrational ones here, not you. They most certainly are. Okay, I heard they most certainly are. Okay, so they're the low vibrational ones. You are not. And yeah, and if they're gossiping saying you're bitter, well, have they ever come to think about why they might be calling you bitter? Hmm. Let's think about that for a minute. But I heard you're not. I heard you're not. So kudos to you. Whoever you are, I feel you've done your healing and shadow work. You just want to continue with your boundaries. And I don't blame you. Um, you have to do what you have to do what's best for you. For your physical health, your mental health, your children's physical and mental health, if you have children, you have to do what's best for you and your own, basically. And setting boundaries with anybody is never a selfish thing. It's never a bitter thing for low vibrational people maybe watching this. It's just the truth. It never is. Um, it's That's healthy. The path. Two completely different paths here. Two completely different paths. These people have made their choices. You have made your choices. It is time for them to move on. And some of them are going to force to be uh, move on very soon through many shocking series of chain of events. And some of these people aren't going to like the path they're about to take. They're about to be forced to take a path they don't want to take. 
Whoa, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, this is strong. So um, I heard two completely different paths here. Two complete. So you have went on a completely different path in life. They have went on a completely different path in life. It sounds, and I heard they're low, low vibrational. So they're they're doing some. They're low. They're in low vibrational energy. So they're doing something, either behind the scenes low vibrational or publicly low vibrational. However, that resonates. Um, but some kind of low vibrational energy, because you know you can go out into the public and be Sally Go Getter and have a wonderful public job and make lots of money and be wonderful in the public eye, but come home and shoot up meth between your toes, or Come home and have 10 neighbors sleeping with 10 neighbors. I mean, secretly. So, I mean, I hope I hope nobody's doing that. I'm just using those as examples. But I'm just saying that's an example of secret low vibrational energy is what I'm saying. So, or they could just be street life people that publicly do it. And they just don't care. I mean, however that resonates. Um, but some kind of low vibrational activity, if, whether it's, Hidden mass, false low vibrational energy, or public. I mean, they could be drug dealers. They could be um, in a cartel. They could be money launderers. I mean, some kind of low vibrational energy over here. H however this resonates in your life. But you have chosen a different path. Uh, you, I feel you're very high vibrational. And I didn't hear that from the spiritual realm, but I heard they are low vibrational for sure. I feel you're low, high vibrational. You, I heard you have you both have chose different paths in life. So I feel you are going on a high vibrational path, or you already are on a high vibrational path. How that resonates? They're they are choosing a different route, which includes low vibrational activity in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's secret or whether it's public. How that resonates? Um, but I heard basically some of these people are going to be forced. Some kind of shocking series of chain of events soon are about to occur with these person or people, however these people or person plugs in your life. Um, that's going to force them. Basically, I feel to stay away from you. Um, some kind of shocking series of chain of events is going to force them on a path they don't want to take. So I don't, ooh, I wonder if that's jail or jail or prison or, um, some kind of crazy derouted route where they get, I don't know, some kind of forceful of a route they don't want to take in life. However, that plugs in. Let's see if I hear anything else. Oh, Lord. Okay, I didn't, I didn't hear anything. Um, spirit only gives what spirit only wants to give. So, um, but some kind of forceful of a route path. They want to come back to you and gloat. I feel it's money related, or showing off their new boo, or showing off, showing off something. I feel for some it's money, but it could be something else. Um, but some kind of shocking series of chain of events are going to occur. They want to come back. Um. But it's going to force them in a path they don't want to take. So whether that's jail, prison, maybe it's a pregnancy, maybe it's um, they end up in the hospital, maybe um, something traumatic happens or to them or somebody they're connected to uh, or something occurs like crazy to where, I mean, I don't know. These are low vibrational people. So, I mean, hell, it could be um, shooting, stabbing, gangs. Um, cartel activity, um, I don't know, but something that's shocking that they're not going to like that's going to force them in a different path away from you, if that makes sense, um, however that resonates, but that sounds like it's good for you, it's going to be very, very, very good for you, very, keep on your path, Okay, I heard it's going to be very, very, very good for you. Keep on your path. Okay, so spiritual download. It's going to be very, very, very good for you. Keep on your path. So you have a racial person or getting up to be have a racial person. I heard it's going to be very, very, very good for you. You stay on your path. You say you keep going. Whatever path that is, you're going. Um, and just let karma take its course for the path these people or person has chosen, which is either a private secret low vibrational 
path or a public one? How are they resonates? Okay. I think we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.